UADA IT is replacing the current digital telephones on campus with a modern voice over internet protocol, or VoIP phones. VoIP technology is a method of transmitting sound as data over the internet, rather than via the traditional public switch telephone network. The new telephones you will be using offers updated technology, including new features that will be discussed in the training video. This video will familiarize you with your new Cisco 8861 model telephone. You can watch the video from start to finish, or you can jump to any topic by opening the video description below and making your selection. So to get started, make a selection or simply sit back and enjoy the step-by-step -step demonstration of your new Cisco IP telephone. The handset has a light strip that flashes for an incoming call. The light remains lit as an indication of a voicemail. The telephone is equipped with a 5-inch high-resolution color display. The screen is made up of three sections. The top screen shows the telephone number that will be used for caller ID and the date and time. The middle of the phone displays the information associated with the line and feature buttons on the phone. The bottom row of the screen is the soft key labels. There are 10 programmable feature buttons. These buttons are customizable and will display phone lines to which you have access, speed dials, or other program features. The buttons eliminate to indicate line status. The line flashes amber for an incoming call. It's solid green when you're on an active call and flashes green when you put the caller on hold. A shared line is solid red when in use by another subscriber and flashes red when the line is placed on hold. You have four soft keys that change depending on the state of the phone. More options are available by pressing the feature button on the far right with the three dots. The navigation ring is located just above the keypad. Use the navigation ring to scroll through menus by pressing the outer ring. Pressing the center selects highlighted items. You can also select menu items by pressing the number next to the desired selection. The back button returns to the previous menu. The three buttons located to the left of the keypad provide access to voicemail, the directory, and your application's menu. The volume control button is used to adjust the volume of the ringtone, headset, handset, or speaker. The six buttons located on the right of the keypad are the hold, transfer, conference, headset, hands-free, and mute. There is a unique number on your phone that you will need when you are requesting service or reporting issues. This is a MAC address. To determine the MAC address, press the Applications button. Choose Admin Settings by either using your Navigation key or by pressing 6. Choose Network Setup, then Ethernet Setup. Option 3 will show the MAC address. If the phone is out of service, you can find the MAC address on the back of the phone. The back of the phone also has your Ethernet, handset, and headset ports, and is equipped with a 10-watt fast-charging USB port which can be used to charge phones and tablets. You can customize your telephone for your individual preferences by pressing the Applications button and choose Settings, either by using your navigation ring or by pressing 2. The first option changes the background on your display. After you select Wallpaper, the available options will display. Use the navigation ring to move through the available options, then Preview or Set selected wallpaper. The second option provides a capability to change the ringtone by line. After selecting ringtone, then select a line you wish to change. Scroll through the list of ringtones and press play to hear a sample. Press set to select. Option three allows the brightness of the display to be adjusted. After selecting brightness, press the navigation key to the right to increase or to the left to decrease. Press the Save soft key to set the level or cancel to exit without saving. The display font can be adjusted by pressing Option 4. After selecting font size, choose from one of the five options. After you make your selection, press the Set soft key. An incoming call is indicated by a flashing light on the handset, a flashing light on the line button, 
and a ringing color icon displays the caller ID information. Notice the three options on the soft key. When you press the decline button, the color goes directly to your voicemail. To silence the ring, press the ignore soft key. To answer the call, you can either pick up a handset or press a headset or speakerphone feature button. You can switch from the handset to speakerphone by either lifting the handset or pressing the speakerphone button. Notice the call timer is displayed during active calls. If a second call comes in while you're on an active call, a window displays caller ID information. You can decline, ignore, or answer the call. When you answer the second call, the first caller is automatically placed on hold. You may switch between connected calls by pressing the blinking feature button. The release is used to end a call. You may dial the number before accessing a line. You can then use the backspace soft key if a mistake is made when dialing. As you begin to dial, the phone will search for similar numbers. Instead of dialing the full number, you can scroll down to a match and then lift the handset, press the headset button, or press the call soft key. To place a second call, press the line button and the first call will be placed on hold automatically. Then dial the second number. Use the redial soft key to dial the last number placed from the phone. To put a call on hold, press the hold soft key. The hold icon appears and the LED indicator pulses green. You can also use the soft key to resume a held call. To transfer a connected call, press the transfer key or soft key and dial the number. To complete the transfer without talking to the recipient, wait for the transfer recipient's phone to ring and press the transfer key again and hang up. Or you may wait until they answer to announce the call. To cancel the transfer, press the end call soft key and resume to return to the original caller. To establish a conference call, press the conference button while on an active call. Dial another party. After the phone begins to ring, press the conference key. Repeat the steps to add more participants. To view and remove participants, press the show detail soft key. Select a participant and press the remove soft key to drop a caller. The conference ends when all participants hang up. Forward All allows you to send your callers to another number. To forward all calls, press the Forward All soft key. If the option does not show, remember to press the soft key with the three dots to show more options. Enter the call forward target phone number exactly as you would dial it from your phone. To verify that your calls are forwarded, look for the Forward All icon in the line label and the forwarding information in the header. To cancel call forwarding, press the Forward Off soft key. The personal directory can be used to store frequently dialed numbers. After selecting personal directory, you may need to enter your Blazor ID as a username and 112233 as a PIN. Select personal address book, then choose the submit, then new soft key. You can enter the first and last name, however, the nickname is all that is required. Press the phone soft key, then enter the telephone numbers as you would dial them. Press submit to save your entry. Press exit to return to the previous screen. To call someone in your personal directory, enter any part of the first, last, or nickname. Press Submit to search. Then select to choose the correct contact. Press Dial, then OK to make your call. The corporate directory contains employees who are listed in the UAB directory. After selecting the corporate directory option, you can search by last or first name, and then dial the number by selecting the entry and pressing the dial soft key. To view missed, placed, or received calls, press the Applications button and select Recents. If you have multiple lines on your phone, then make a line selection. The last 150 calls display with an icon beside each number. 
Entries with an arrow pointed toward the handset represents a received call. If the arrow is pointed away from the handset, it was a place call. A missed call is represented with a red icon. You also have the ability to show only missed calls by pressing a soft key. To dial from call history, scroll and select the desired entry and press the call soft key. Choose a line and press a message button on your phone to access voicemail. Enter your PIN followed by pound. The default passcode will be 112233. The first time you log into voicemail, the system will walk you through the setup. Welcome to Cisco Unity Connection. Please take a moment to personalize or update your settings. To log into your voicemail from outside of the system, call 934-0088. Your ID followed by pound. You will be prompted for the mailbox ID, which is the last five digits of your telephone number. You can also dial your telephone number and press the star key when the greeting answers. Sorry, training, video is not available. Record your message at the tone when you enter your ID followed by pound. Enter your PIN.